Hey guys, Bobby here with Rob Judge. We're down in the Med Medellin and we wanted to do a quick video for you and talk about something that me and him have personally been discussing for the last couple days, you know, on and off as, as we've gotten together down here hanging out. And that's this idea of how to build an identity online that keeps a girl thinking about you, that kind of gives her something that to attach you to in her mind. Is, is we're gonna talk about why that's so important in a second. Before we get to that though, this Thursday, uh, Rob and I are doing an encore presentation of our four skills of the dating apocalypse masterclass. So if you missed it the first time, or even if you saw it, it's really worth seeing again. So register below because as last time, a lot of guys missed out because they didn't register. Um, we're, we're capping it out at a thousand people. So make sure you register. Now, uh, you know, quick, quick story that I want uh, Rob to get into, talk about Tinder a little bit, but we can talk about this identity building stuff. Yeah, well, I mean, the thing about um, building your identity is that, you know, we're over here in Colombia where I don't speak the language. And before I came here, I went on Tinder and, uh, you know, was, was setting up dates, you know, setting up, you know, different girls to meet. And the thing that I think would hold a lot of guys back is I don't speak Spanish at all. I speak really bad gringo Spanish, you know, and, and uh, uh, you know, even some guys that we met out here, other guys that we know, um, you know, just through, through friends or in our industry, they were saying, oh, it's really hard because, you know, if you can't get past the language barrier. It's going to be really difficult. To, to, to meet these girls. And in actuality, it, it's not because the, the beauty of, of, where, of the sort of time period we're living in with all the social media and Tinder and you know these, these dating apps is so much of your identity is conveyed through pictures, through what you're putting out there, what you're putting on social media, which pictures you're choosing for, you know, to include it in, in your Tinder profile. Because you know right now at the time of this recording, you could put, I think, five or six pictures into your Tinder profile or your Bumble profile. So, so much of the information that these women are getting about you is coming from the pictures that you're putting out there. And then when I ended up meeting up with, um, the other night, I met, I met up with this girl, I actually went to a house party out here, which is a little crazy. I ended up, I said to, yeah. to Bobby before I left, if I don't come back, I might be being held by, for ransom by the cartels, but everything went, went really well. And it was funny because when I got there, the girl that um, you know I'd speak, been speaking with using Google Translate um, didn't speak any English. I don't speak any Spanish. Yet the attraction was still there. Things still went really well because of the fact that that's a, you almost don't even need to do that much work once all the heavy lifting is already done for me by the fact that I had included certain pictures that created this narrative where she understood what kind of guy I am. She understood this sort of attractive lifestyle that I lead. Uh, I gave her what you know, the pictures that I wanted her to see of me. So everything from there is actually pretty easy after that. Yeah, one of the things that I think guys don't realize is that we live in a, a, a world right now where a girl has, you know, we, we have our laptops in front of us right now. We're at a coffee shop and we have our, our phones on, our laptops on, and girls are like that too, right? So when you meet a girl out or you work with her, wherever you're meeting the girl that you're, you're kind of talking to and you're, you're getting to know her, you gotta realize that she's meeting a lot of different guys, so she sort of needs a shortcut to remember you by, right? You've gotta be the, you know, the 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 Wall Street guy, the the you know the the artistic yeah, guy, creative the, the guy, creative yeah. guy. You've gotta like yeah. if, if you're just the average, ordinary, everyday guy who she goes to your Facebook profile and just like some few random pictures of you here or there and she doesn't have a sort of a stereotype to attach you to, it's gonna be very hard for her to remember you, right? And as we talk about attention, we're in the attention economy, as we're gonna discuss in the webinar that we have for you guys on Thursday, we're in the attention economy. If you can't hold her attention, it's not gonna happen. And a lot of it, you know, it's funny, because me and him, right before we filmed this video, we were shooting, uh, you know, we went to post something on our, our Instagram and Facebook, and you know, and I'll let kind of him get into it because it kind of ties into a mistake I got a, a lot of guys make when they do want to show something, especially, you know, we're traveling right now. And when you're traveling, a lot of guys make this picture mistake. Yeah, see, the, the biggest mistake I see with guys, you know, guys that do, even do cool stuff or even guys that don't do cool stuff is whatever cool thing that is going on in their life, they make that the focal point. So for instance, we're traveling. Let's say, for instance, we were in Paris, right? Because Paris is just Everyone knows landmarks of Paris. Yeah. And, we, and we took a picture, we, we, we found someone said, hey, take a picture of, of me and Bobby in front of the Eiffel Tower. And that was the picture I posted. And that's usually what people do when, when they travel, is they, is they find some, some touristy spot that everyone would know. And like, oh, I'm gonna post this picture of me in front of the Eiffel Tower to show everyone I'm in France. And then they're gonna see I travel. And, they, and it actually kind of works against them. It's funny, it actually, it, it, it does the exact opposite of what they were hoping to show. Because the subtext is that this 
traveling to you was so important that you had to go get this very cliche yeah. picture and, and you made the focal point of it the fact that, oh, I, I'm in Paris, look at me. So instead of that, what, what, I, what I did, you know, when me and Bobby were sitting here, we're just kind of like, you know, going over notes for, for this video. But well, they just took a picture of us sitting in this, this very beautiful cafe here, you know, obviously, you know, in, uh, you know, South American country. And I, 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 I just, the caption was just, uh, you know, the office, you know, I, I use Google Translate, put it into Spanish. And, uh, and then I, you know, I tagged Bobby. And then, because what that conveys, is that, is that more, is that more congruent to our lifestyle? Is that our lifestyle, our, the identity that we're, that we're trying to put across is that we're guys who, you know, travel, or we're adventurous, who kind of have like a freedom lifestyle. So that's more congruent. And people are going to see that we're obviously traveling, like, you know, we're, you know, I tagged the cafe that, that we're sitting in, but at the same time, it's almost that the, the, the traveling's in the background and our lifestyle is in the foreground. And that's what a lot of guys need to start doing. And you don't necessarily need to travel to do this. This could be in anything you do. You have to look at the picture and stop looking at it as the obvious, direct, black and white meaning of it and start looking a little bit more at the subtext. What's the subtext of this? Because the subtext of the picture of just us sitting here, you know, with our laptops is the subtext is that this is just this is just part of our reality. This is part of our lifestyle. Yes. It's, yeah, and it's like it's like the traveling is kind of in the background, and what we're doing, the cool stuff, or the you know the different things that we're doing, that's the foreground of the picture. Yeah. So there's another even deeper level level thing here going on that I wanted to address, right? And 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 it's one of the reasons I really recommend checking out Thursday's webinar is that even if you're sitting here going, hey, I'm not really on Tinder, I don't really care about that or whatever like that. You know, we started this this thing off with Rob telling a story how he had a bunch of dates lined up. Uh, with, with girls down here and he got down here and he had a lot of dates and 20 years ago that was impossible right 20 years ago that was not gonna happen and why this is important to you is because guys like Rob are all over whatever state you're in whatever city you're in 20 years ago you were only competing with the other guys in your local vicinity if you liked a girl at work chances are you were really only competing with your co-workers and maybe like some guys at the local Yoko bar she went to but now guys like Rob <laughs> you know who live two towns over from your girl, every time she pulls out her phone, she's getting messages, right? You gotta know how to counteract that, right? Building your identity, portraying your identity is one aspect of it, but there's a lot of other things. We call them the four new skills of the dating apocalypse. And this Thursday, we're really gonna dig in, right? This, this, we're gonna really dig in and show you how you can capture a, a woman's attention, right? How you can keep her thinking about you and not lose out to guys like Rob, who, He's coming to some guy was probably working on that girl for like months and he just hits her up on Tinder and you know he's with her the first night um, and like you said a lot of it had to do with, with what, what what he did obviously the ability to close the deal and stuff that that, 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 that comes with a good game but you got to be aware of this right too many guys are unaware and they wonder why the girls aren't answering your calls they're not you know returning your texts that you hang out with them a couple times and it seems to fizzle out this is why <laughs> You know, you're, you're not succeeding in the attention economy. And we're gonna go much deeper into this Thursday night. There's a link below to register for the masterclass. And if you haven't seen this yet, we're, we're, we're not gonna leave it online. You know, last time we took it down, we had guys begging us to see it again. It's completely free also. So make sure you watch it. <laughs> Perfect. Whoa. Spoken like a true professional.